I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found. Hey guys, welcome to a new edition of PLS Tips with Manny. Each week I'm going to give you guys new tips and strategies on how to position yourself as an expert in your industry and generate more leads, more sales, and referrals in your business. Usually I pick a topic that's going to be something that I want to give you guys some tips and strategy on that's really going to help you implement those into your home-based business, your small business, your network marketing business, your affiliate program, or maybe just focusing solely on selling the power lead system. So today I want to give you guys tips on selling on the phone, my five strategies to successful phone sales. All right, With any business, regardless of what you're doing, it could be selling a, a network marketing product online, it could be selling you know, an e-commerce website. At the end of the day, you're going to have to use phone sales to do business. may not be majority of the business, but you're going to have to be um, on the phone at some point in your business talking to prospects, talking to clients, talking to somebody who has an interest in doing business with you. So let me share with you some tips and strategies that I implement on each one of my calls to make sure they're successful. Um, I've sold many, many hundreds of thousands, even over millions of dollars worth of business uh, either on phone and face-to-face -face, over the internet so I do have a little bit of experience on how to utilize this technology to really be effective I've taken a lot of sales courses I've um, done a lot of personal development programs I've listened to ebooks and not listen to listen to audiobooks and really tried to develop everything I possibly could learn on how to be successful using these techniques so here's some basic basic fundamentals on how to be successful selling over the phone uh, I made a little bullet point list so you know I got a little sticky note here just to make sure I hit them all the first one is you have to structure your call before you even pick up that phone and dial the number or answer that call you need to have a structure in place you gotta have a way that is gonna position yourself as an expert in your industry a way for you to really outlay the program or product or service effectively to where it could be in just a couple minutes they know exactly what it is that you're offering so you're not rambling on for minutes and minutes and minutes where it's just gonna get to a point where you're talking to a wall okay you have to have really good hot points that get them grabbed in ask questions make sure they interact with you so that's this way you have the ability of hearing them responding a lot of the ways that I get people to respond is I include their name multiple times through the phone call so if I'm talking to them on the phone does that make sense mark does that make sense Judy you know something like that that gets them to respond oh yeah you know when they hear their name it's the most satisfying word in the English language dictionary uh, or any language dictionary rather is to hear their own name so utilize that effectively multiple times through the call and <clears throat> you're gonna be able to get some more responses and get people really dialed into listening what you're offering the second thing I offer or I, I make sure I have ready is rebuttals when somebody's you know let's say you're doing phone sales let's say you're talking to somebody about joining your team or trying your product anything of that nature and you're gonna hear the same thing over and over again when they when they tell you no right it's gonna be I want to think about it I uh, can't afford that right now I got a partner I gotta to talk to I don't have time you know whatever the the excuse is you're gonna keep hearing these again and again the more calls that you do so have rebuttals ready rebuttals are responses to people's objections okay I outlined in a previous video the five steps to handling objections uh, and that's basically outlining it first you gotta put that softening statement you gotta uh, isolate the objection make sure that is a real objection uh, you gotta overcome the objection then again clarify the answer and go for the sale so for me you know have rebuttals ready um, I always make sure when somebody tells me I can't afford it I have a you know I have a scripted response but I've memorized that since then to be able to make sure I can put it tailored to their needs okay even having a structure doesn't necessarily mean you have to have a script it could be bullet points it could be just you know a highlight of, of ideas that you need to make sure you cover on every single call to make sure they have the right amount of value in what you're offering you definitely don't want to sound like you're just reading off a piece of paper um, but you want to make sure that you're getting the accurate information to them let me turn that down so we're not getting my phone blown up every couple of minutes here uh, the next thing I have is increase value quickly okay when you're getting somebody on the phone it's kind of like them going to Barnes & Noble and browsing around the fiction nonfiction section 
and them uh, looking at a book. You know, they got five seconds to make a great first impression. Otherwise, they're just going to move on to something else. In today's day and age, people are distracted more and more easily. They're looking at their phones. They're looking at their tablets. They're looking at their computers. They're looking at the 1,500 different advertisements that are hitting their, their you know, senses every single day you have to make sure that you stand out so you gotta increase your value very quickly you know putting in a couple bullet points of some of the hot item uh, benefits that they're gonna have utilizing your services or buying your product um, you've gotta make sure that you get into them very quickly don't drag it on where you're doing a giant build up and then giving them the benefits highlight benefits right away and then build more value as you're explaining your story sharing what you do how you do it things of that nature okay uh, the next thing is number four target marketing keep in mind you can't blanket every single person with your product you may seem like you have a product that can fit any business model any target market but you have to understand that there is a niche market that works best with you once you find out who that niche market is it could be a certain age group it could be males it could be females it could be certain types of professionals it could be certain type of income levels you have to figure out what it is that you're offering and who that should be put in front of once you do that now you have the ability to make sure you're targeting that specific market because if you can hit a hundred people and get three people interested out of that hundred people but then you go to a more targeted market of just those types of people now at every hundred you're probably gonna get 10 to 15 so you wanna make sure you're hitting the right market so you're not wasting too much of your efforts okay so that's a big key factor there and the last but definitely not least is be knowledgeable and personable what I see a lot is um, you know I see people I've, I've got a couple of people within my network and they share things with me sometimes and they sound great ideas, great business models. And for example, I'll give you an example here. Um, I really invest heavily in gold and silver. And a person brought to me an idea uh, about a gold product that could help and um, in getting me a more online version of gold and tracking it and getting just, it's just a new idea. The problem I have with this person is that he's not knowledgeable whatsoever on the products that he offers. And it, it's a big turnoff for me to try and work with somebody when I can't get an answer of a question, a very simple question. And it's always, oh, point to this point here instead of actually finding the answer. I mean, if you want somebody to work with you, you got to be the expert in your industry because they're looking at you as a person that could provide value to them and could lead them in a path that's going to make them successful. It could be buying a product and making sure they're successful using that product. It could be buying a service and making sure that service is going to be make it successful into their business. So you have to understand when you are offering a product or service, you have to be the expert of that product or service. Know everything, the ins and outs about that. Why people love working with me so much is that when I'm talking with them in just a couple minutes, I'm able to give them an exact outline step by step right to the point of exactly how this would benefit them what kind of value it would bring to them in their business so for me you know being an expert in my industry has tremendously brought me a lot of business because it's a fact of they go to somebody that could do the same exact thing that I'm doing or offering but yet they go to me because well Manny I know that you're gonna be able to lead me in the right direction this way you're gonna be able to take my business from this to this I understand that you have the understanding of my business model my target market how to reach out to people so if you can become that expert it's gonna put you you know heads and heels over a, a lot of other people that would um, heads and shoulders above them. I don't know how that saying goes but either way um, it's really just focusing on making sure that you have a unique value so when you can go out there and you're knowledgeable about your product that's gonna put you in a level unseen from your com competition another thing that you have is the ability to be personable Okay? You have to understand that people are doing business with the people they like, not just because it's a great service, not just because it's a great product. I mean, I did not move forward on a product that I really, really liked that I was looking at just because the person I was going to be doing business with is not somebody that I can see me doing business with. So, you know, you'll lose a lot of business if you're not personal. You have to understand how to adapt to the types of people that are out there. Um, and I did a whole a whole PLS tips on this on how to identify the right personality type that are out there. There's four major personality types. You've got the type A personality. That's a person who wants to be the star, the the big show of the of the thing. And 
Um, then you have the person who's like the blueprint, who's a very step-by-step, -step. they need a structure, they need a plan to take into action. Then you got the analytical type, who's a very big numbers guy, has to see charts and, and reports and everything. It's got to see the numbers, the percentages, and goes back and forth to make sure it's something that's for them. And then you have the real personable type, the nurturing type, that is a, a person who makes decisions on feelings. Do I feel good with this person? Does this person make me feel happy? Does this person, you know, have a great cause that's behind them? So you have to make sure you understand who it is you're dealing with initially because there's four different presentations that you should be making out there. And it's going to be based off that specific person. I like to ask a few questions up front. How they got into something, how, what kind of business model, what target market. And just based on their responses, I can kind of gauge what type of person that would be. And from there, I can then say, okay, this is how I should structure this call. I should really talk about stats and figures with this person, or I should talk about how this is going to really help them, make them feel better, have them the ability to give back more. Maybe a person I could say, this is a step-by-step -step blueprint to success, how you do this. Or the next one, I could say, this is how I'm going to make you just blow up into a massive brand. You know, you just have to understand your customer, be knowledgeable. Um, you know, just like I outlined right now. So this is what I do to be successful in phone sales. I hope you guys can take some tidbits of this information, apply this to your business, apply this to your, your companies and your brands and, and your entrepreneurship and really just go out there and just kick some butt. Okay. So, um, you know, if you like what you've heard, feel free to share this video with your team. Uh, we've got a share code uh, on our YouTube channel. Like you just click on the video, it goes to the YouTube and you'll see in the description, the share code that you can use. Uh, for this PLS Tips uh, landing page, you can customize this how you like. Uh, include whichever videos that you like. It's very easy to do. And uh, just let me know what you think. I'd love to hear the feedback from you guys and what you guys thought about the training, how it affected you, how it changed your life. If not, if it sucked, please let me know. And if there's some topic that you want me to discuss that I have not discussed yet, feel free to shoot me an inbox. Uh, shoot me a text. My Cell phone number is right below this video. So just shoot me a text. Say, hey, Manny, I'd love for you to talk about this topic. Uh, I haven't heard you discuss about this yet. Just let me know. I'm, I'm all ears, and I'm always looking for unique topics to talk about. So I will be back next week, and always remember that you are too blessed to be stressed. Have a great day. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place in the family.